Hey everybody, this is Guy Crusher 9 here again with more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As you can plainly see, we've arrived at the creepy steeple. Which is actually pretty creepy. Well, this creepy steeple, home of that monster, I do not like this place. Oh, well, fine, Prima Donna, what do you like then? Because. Well, actually, I hate this place too. So let's make our business quick. But first, we've got to save! Ah! So anyways, uh, first let's get Katsun out, and second, the most obviously entrance is locked, so let's use the last, least obvious entrance, rolling up into a tube and then going under the hole. And uh, let's skip ahead to the star piece, because I spend a few minutes fumbling around in the dark. So let's go finally inside. So somewhere in this place resides the ruby star, and pretty cool same glass painting, I must say. Although I won't explain it just yet. So first, let's uh, go all the way back here to this weird star statue. No, the ruby star is not in that thing. But oh my god, we're falling to our death. Good thing that spring broke off all. So let's get Flory out because of the obvious uh, paper thing. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a trap. I mean... Uh, I guess a hiding spot or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's uh, go back here and let's ride the Yoshi because it's faster. And here we got a very useful badge, the f uh, Flower Saver badge. It drops the FP that Mario needs for his attacks by one. So like if you're using the Power Strike um, badge, which usually costs two FP and you have the Flower Saver on, it only costs one. Now let's open this unassuming box and... Oh my god! We're gonna get stuck in a painting again. What have we done? It's game over for Mario again. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out? Total. Now, if you want to get stuff out of this, say 200. Take this, math nerd. So you get a pretty funny insult and the Ultra Shroom. The most powerful healing thing. Yeah, just, like, HP-wise, I mean... Yeah, um, I don't know what happens if you answer differently. Either he attacks you, or he just, like, goes like, you lose, and leaves. I don't know. I couldn't find any evidence. But anyways, uh, let's go back up here, and aw, it's a sad little boo. Are you going to be mean to me? No, we're gonna be nice. PROMISE! Come out, guys! Okay, this could be a problem. This could be a very big problem. So anyways, um, once you trigger this, um, if you let the booze go collect at you long enough, they'll dump you outside the, uh, the creepy steeple. But if you use the spin hammer on them three times, you'll trigger this. Eh, uh, eh, you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Oh, what are you gonna do? Float around me menacingly? Ooh, I'm so scared. Wait, what are you doing? Stop doing that. Yeah! So here is the optional boss battle for Chapter 4. The Atomic Boo! And he is not nuclear whatsoever. But I will go nuclear with Power Lift! The Pasta King's uh, Crystal Star. So let's start with the description of this ability. Basically what happens is that a, a 3x3 grid pops up with these golden stars and uh, you want to collect the arrows. If you collect the poison mushrooms it like either, I think it decreases the bars on the left there. But basically the more arrows you get the more powered up Mario and your partner become. So as you can see there, I, got, I only managed to get one offensive increase and then two defensive. So now I'm a tiny bit more powerful and a, even more so defensive left. Although ground pound, it doesn't really matter. So Atomic Boost attacks. The first one is he slams into us with his stage presence. So I shall retaliate with a power jump. And even the stage is working in my favor. How nice. So yeah, he only really has two attacks, I believe. Uh, the, the primary one he'll use is just to, you know, slam you. Oh yay, it's curse time, which means I guess I'll be getting a defensive upgrade. And he triggers his second attack. Crap. Oh, that was a waste. 
But when he covers his face, that's when he's about to use his other attack. Um, it takes a turn to charge, and then, you know, the second turn he fires. What does he fire exactly? He fires his laser! No. He doesn't fire his laser. But I'm firing my luck! <laughs> wow! Two bingos in one section. I am officially lucky. It's the cat son, duh. Alright, so... There's Atomic Boo's second attack. He blows a bunch of boos at your face. And of course, the attack would be a little bit more powerful if I didn't have the power lift active. And that audience member boo turned him invisible, so now he gets a free shot at me. So let's use that time to appeal. So yeah, um, basically use power lift, I guess, if you want like an easy start. And then by the time it wears off, uh, Atomic Boo should be pretty weak. So, I mean, I, I, I should wrap up the battle pretty soon. Of course, Fog is obviously going to interfere with that. Great. I'm just probably going to go for another three turns or something. Oh no, Yoshi Kid hit him. Ah. Oh, and Cat Sun takes out the Atomic Boo. He is awesome. And so, as a reward for our ghostly homicide, we get the Lucky Start Badge. A very, very, very useful badge. I, I, I heavily advise that you get this badge. And Mario is sleeping. Kind of a bad place to sleep, but oh well, it's his choice. But anyways, um, I'll demonstrate the Lucky Badge in the next battle because that's really where you see its effects. And let's go out here and there should be a new enemy. Yeah, the Super. So yeah, we didn't get to fight for Swoop back in the glitz pit, so now I get to fight his cousin or whatever. Boom! So, the Lucky Star Badge will cause one of four beneficial statuses to, you know, you know, enter Mario or whatever. And that guy's gonna throw a sleepy sheep at me. But I think my inventory is so, uh, full, so I can't. But anyways, uh, Lucky Star will either make Mario dodgy, um, uh, electrified, give him HP um, regeneration or FP regeneration. And it always lasts for two turns. Now anyways, with the swooper, uh, the swooper, there's really not much to say about it except for the fact that it does that annoying thing that Rockhawk did where it hangs from the ceiling and the only way you can attack it is if you have Quake Hammer or Star Power. Uh, but, you know, yeah, so yeah, we should be able to kill this guy. I mean, it's floating above this cloud, so it shouldn't get any, you know, evasion boost or something. That would be stupid. So, another enemy mindlessly killed. Die. And, uh, I don't want to fight you. Alright, so this switch here is kind of an important thing with the creepy steeple as well. Um, it affects something in the next room, which I should show, like, three, two, one. Well, Anyways, the switch moves this staircase here, and you want to move it down to the bottom first because um, I believe there's a key at the other end of this hall, and you know we need the key to advance. And oh look, another new enemy! Of course, we already fought the giant atomic boo, but we still haven't fought the regular boo. So boos have four H. No, not four. I think five HP. Here, I got players right in front of me. Um. But yeah, uh, boos aren't that hard to deal with. Uh, they have the annoying tendency, though, of uh, turning their friends invisible, like that guy just did. So yeah, alright, they have 7 HP and 3 attack, no defense. But anyways, yeah, the, the most annoying thing about these guys is just the fact that they turn each other invisible. And there goes my chance for another bingo. But basically, all you just gotta do is just hold down the fort until they become visible again and just lay the smack down on them. Okay, so... Ah, oh, he attacked Katsun. What a bitch. They'll also change their positions where they'll be, um... They'll either be close to the ground or they'll be above the ground. And in the current state that they are in, um, Koops won't be able to attack them. But Yoshi still can, or Katsun, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so that's uh, three boos down, and let's take care of this other guy. I like how they attack though. They go like, Bleh! I I always like that sprite for um, boos. It always looks funny. So yeah, this should be the final blow. 
And the video should be wrapping up soon. I'll, I, I guess I'm not going to get to the halfway point of this chapter, sadly. So, I don't know. I think I'm going at a good enough pace. I mean, the backtracking is going to be the major heft of this chapter. But, but I'm going to cut that out. You, you don't need to see that. All right, so here we got the key. Um, you can get that either with your Yoshi Kid or with Koops. But it's a lot easier to get it with Koops. Because um, if you fall down, then you have to go all the way back up. And you'll notice how boos are random. The boos only randomly um, go, you know, wander the place if you kill Atomic Boo, I think. And so I'm about out of time. Let's find the star piece here first because there is one. There we go. All right, so this is Guy Christian Knight. And in the next episode, we will get to the top, the very tip top of Creepy Steeple. See you later.